How are we doing all there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi. Come and have a look where I've got. I was having a little um, walk around Aldi. Yeah, was it yesterday? And I seen this. I came across it. It said I'm new. Um, Ash Valley, two cheese and bacon chicken Kievs. Filled with a smoked bacon and creamy cheese sauce. Cooks in 20 minutes, made with 100% British chicken breast. Suitable for air fryer. Little traffic light system for the nutrition. Red tractor certified chicken. And there is the lovely serving suggestion. This was £1.99. So let's uh, take a look at the packaging. Uh, this isn't the first time I've done chicken Kievs um, on the channel. Uh, I've not done cheese and bacon before though. Mm, and I do love cheese and I do love bacon. And I love chicken. So yeah, let's go Let's go round the back, see if there's any information. There is some uh, nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that in more detail, then please go ahead. Um, they are the ingredients. The allergens in there are wheat and milk. Um, chicken, 53%. Mature cheddar cheese, 3.5%. And then it's got full fat soft cheese, 3%. Smoked bacon with added water, 3%. Pork, 88%. Um, so a little bit of spiel there, I'll read it out. Chopped and shaped chicken with cheese and smoked bacon filling in a crispy breadcrumb coating. Directions for use. Oven cook in the centre of a preheated oven, electric 200, fan 180, gas 6 for 20 minutes. And that's from chill. 28 minutes from frozen. Ah, 200 and 60 grams. Warning, although every effort has been made to remove bones, some small bones remain. May remain, I do apologise if I stand corrected, literally. So let's get these open and see what we've got. So let's get into these. Um, see, if we, see if it comes off. It's not coming. It's, um, giving me a bit of resistance. Well, never mind. Um, there they are, in there. That's what you get. Ah. So I'm going to weigh them as well. Uh, the lovely gift sent to me these scales were. I'm going to pop them on here and see what they weigh. That's one. So what was it? 200 and... What was, this? What was the weight? 260. There it is, um, 269. So yeah, I would imagine when they've cooked, um, they'll be on, they'll be on par, won't they? Right, let's get them in the oven. Um, I've just put mine on a, a tray um, and I've put a bit of parchment paper down there, a bit of grease proof paper. Um, and so they're going in there to bake for 20 minutes. Um, they're done. We've got um, we've got some leakage. Um, look here, I put that parchment paper down, isn't it? They've gone all over me tin, me baking tray. They've been a nightmare to get up. <laughs> the the plan was I was going to weigh them again, but um, I'm not I'm not weighing them now. It's the bust. <laughs> I'm not going to waste any of that um, any of that sauce. That's for sure because it's just going to go on there as I want it. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have to wash it. Perfect. So we'll just get them on there like that. We'll go in the bin, obviously, and uh, we'll show you lovely, lovely people, fellow foodies out there. These have a look at that. Right. So I never thought I could have just lifted them up and put them on the on the weighing scales with the with the on the grease proof paper, but never mind. Um, they're there now. They're on, they're on there. <laughs> so I'm going to chop one in half. And we'll have a look. Um, I'd love to show you the inside, but it's all come out. 
they, they look. Um, there's your uh, chopped and formed chicken breast. And um, your breadcrumb coating on the outside. Crispy. So it, there's garlic puree in these as well. I did have a look at the... I'm going to get some of that on there. And we're going to try them. So there it is. Uh, I've done a couple of Chicken Kiev reviews in the past. I've done a chicken... What was it? Chicken tikka, that was from Iceland. And I did a, a chip shop curry from Aldi. Did that a year ago. And now a cheese and bacon. Um, and if you like this kind of video, uh, maybe give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe consider subscribing. And let me know your thoughts. I did a chicken Kiev pie a few weeks ago and that was from M&S. Mm. <laughs> oh, that is lovely. I mean, the bacon is, it's, it's all very small, it's 3%. Um, but you're getting the cheese flavours coming through. The chicken is, is, is what you expect with the chopped and formed chicken. Mmm. Lovely. The coating's crispy as well. Mmm. There's a bit of a smokiness from the bacon, and there's a there's a garlic flavour as well. You're not getting away from the garlic. Um, I wish the bacon was more of it, and it was a bit thicker. You know, it's all like quite small, very small. Mmm. Very nice indeed. There it is there, look. Now I'll show you the bacon. Um, it's, it's pretty small, the bacon. It's all like bitty, if you know what I mean. Mmm. The cheese flavour's coming through as well. You've got mature cheddar in there and you've also got full fat, soft cheese. Um, like I say, you've got a hint of garlic. And the, che the, the, the chicken is, is, is it's, it's like a spongy texture. I know I'm not selling it. I'm not trying to sell them. I'm just reviewing it. I get a lot of comments saying, um, you're not selling me that. Well, I'm not trying to sell you. I'm just showing you and seeing if it's okay. Um, because, it, you know, then it'll, if it's not okay, I'll let you know. And then it'll save you a few quid to go out and buy it, won't it? That's the idea of these videos. Hmm. Let me know your thoughts on chopped and formed chicken. I know. Then judging by the comments, there it is. If you can see it, I'll bob down. Um, judging by the comments that I've done on chicken, I did some chicken breasts, fit like fillet fillet breast chicken from Aldi. That was frozen. And um, the comments were, um, you know. It's it's shaped like a ch chicken fillet, but it's all sort of chopped and formed and stuck together. You know, it could be anything. Um, but it does say breast. It did say breast, and this is breast as well. Hmm. Tasty, though. Hmm. I'm liking it. So one ninety nine for two, so that's... Just under a pound each, isn't it? And obviously, I mean, you could do it in the air fryer if you want. I did it in the oven on the on the bake setting for, for the time specified, twenty minutes at one eighty. I mean, and and they bust as well. Um, I mean, you could probably do them in the air fryer, probably um, less time. It depends what air fryer you've got. But I was a bit, I had a few jobs to do, so stick it in the oven. I don't have to worry about it then. I put it in the air fryer and I'm always checking it because I've had pretty... A lot of it, the air fryer is really good and I've got an air fryer on this one as well. Um, <clears throat> but I'm glad I didn't sort of... 
Because it's an air fryer, I was losing what I'm thinking here, because it's an air fryer and it says do it for less time, I'm always checking it out because I don't want to overdo it, I don't want to underdo it. But if I just put it in the oven, I can just put it in and I, can, I know after 20 minutes it's done, if that makes any sense. And it's very economical as well. It, it costs about 13 pence for, for, for 20 minutes at 180 that. That's including preheating. Um, I get a lot of comments, it costs you a fortune to cook it, well it doesn't, it doesn't at all, it's very very economical, a lot more economical than my, my tired old conventional oven. Right, I'm going to enjoy the other one. Very nice. Um, I'll just finish this. Sometimes I talk with my mouth full, just one of those things isn't it? Yeah, I like them, I do like them. Um, they're an eight out of 10. Very nice indeed. So take care, thanks for watching, do appreciate it, all the best, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.